what's going on guys plus will here and today i'm gonna just be showing you guys how to make your own vocal template in fl studio like recording template you guys want to stick around for this video the whole thing because i'm gonna be showing you free just how to build your own vocal recording template if you guys don't feel like remaking this you guys can head over to vocalsearch.shop we got like four different templates on there we got the uzi real recording template we got a bunch head over to vocalsearch.shop get yourself some presets some templates i'd appreciate if you guys went and did me a huge favor go check out my music ballistic will in all stores i appreciate y'all and y'all been running up my music um it's the least you can do for me i feel like because i'd be spending so much time on these videos but yeah guys i'm not wasting any time let's get straight into the video all right so basically you're gonna want to go up here and go to an empty template you guys want an empty template and yeah it's looking super plain super blank i'm gonna be making this along with y'all so you guys can literally just watch me the entire time i will do my best to explain it to y'all okay so you got an empty template right here First thing I'm gonna start off by doing, double tap on this top part where it says master and you wanna go down and put a separator right here. And I think that I could not even tell you guys the point of that except um, it just, it separates something and improves the sound greatly. Like in all my songs I notice um, it just gives it more like of a separation and like stereo sound when you go at a separator so go at a separator right there and we're gonna change the color of this master to like steel blue you guys can color code this how you want let's go ahead and rename this to main vox okay so we got a main vox and the aux tracks or just like vocal tracks are going to be routed to here go ahead change this to maybe like a light blue i'd say uh kick it up to like medium turquoise it says um, and then yeah, go ahead place another separator right here double tap and then you should see separator down here And uh, so yeah, that's looking like that. You're gonna want to take this track Let's go ahead and unroute that from the master and plug it into our main box track And so then our main box track is getting routed to the master um, And this is where you can put your preset and then this controls all the like box tracks the preset everything let me just slide my low uzi preset on there and it said this one has auto tune on it so i'm gonna take out the auto tune so go ahead and name this track to aux and basically put another separator in between that so the way the pros do it is they put auto tune on all these tracks like where the um, audio clips reside and so they put auto tune on there and then they route it out to like a aux track or basically this is technically the main preset um you got all these effects on here so they record with auto tune on a different track so let's go ahead put a separator right here and we are going to name this my bad guys i forgot to even add a beat track let's go ahead and name this beat and let's make this maybe a slightly lighter blue let's see if that's like noticeable and uh go ahead and move this to the left okay so yeah now we got our aux track right here let's uh yeah so that's looking good um this is where our beat's gonna reside and it's gonna go out to the master go ahead close this and this is where we are if you double tap on one of these tracks you guys can go to track mode audio track and then you guys can go find beat up here so you don't want to add the other ones you don't need your aux track because you're not recording or putting any audio clips on that um but yeah go ahead let's change the color i guess it's making me do a light blue since it's kind of resetting it so yeah you got our beat track right there just do another double tap go down to track mode and we are gonna go to insert four and we are gonna name it rec track so you got a record track now let's just change this let's kind of go up in the colors um we're gonna see if we can color code this really nice so yeah uh, we got a record track right here it's looking green and this is where you will record and slide down your audio clips so we're gonna go shift command and see if we can select all of these tracks right here let's go ahead and select two tracks and we are gonna go route them and we're gonna go to insert five and basically uh, I want to name these hook so you even got hook one you got hook number two it automatically named it like that for me so go ahead select that again select these two tracks and we should be able to make them the same color like this um, let's go give them like a nice light green 
Let's give him a neon green. Okay. So interesting. It kind of faded that second one. I like that. I like that. Now let's go ahead, um, select both of these tracks and let's name it verse. Let's go back to light sky blue. Okay. I don't know how I'm feeling. We're going to have to recolor this at the very end. And uh, go, go ahead and make sure to route those to uh, insert 7. Okay, so this is insert 7, insert 8. Let's go put it back as verse. Okay, so you got hook 1, hook 2, verse 1, verse 2. Now let's go make, uh, do shift command or shift control again and uh, just select both of these. Uh, just make sure that's selected. Go to track mode and go select insert nine. So that's insert nine and 10 now. And uh, now we can color code it without it getting messed up. So let's go for like a darker, darker blue. Um, and let's just name this, uh, my bad, my bad. Uh, let's go ahead and name this uh, double. You got a double one, double two track now. And then maybe let's go select three tracks down here. Um, make sure to route it first. So let's go up here, insert 11. So that did 11, 12, 13. And let's go choose a color. Um, let's say we can go to like a light purple maybe. Okay, um, that doesn't look horrible. Um, but yeah, I'm going to have to recolor this. Basically, you guys get the point. You guys can color how you want. Um, but I'm going to just name this Adlib. Okay, so you can add the 1 and 2 and 3 now. Um, and yeah, pretty much I think that's it for right here. Uh, you guys can add any other tracks, rename them how you want. But yeah, we got a beat track. We got a record track. We got hook, hook 2. Uh, verse 1, verse 2, double 1, double 2, then you got three ad-lib tracks. Okay, so that's looking good. And basically how this works is you record right here, um, and then you just slide it down. You slide it down to the hook, the hook 2. Um, it just kind of helps you arrange your songs better, really, um, and like have faster workflow or whatever you want to call it. Uh, just make sure to put a separator in between right here the aux track the beat track so make sure all these are separated and then you got all your tracks right here all right so now you're going to want to do shift command or shift control whatever if you're on mac or windows you guys want to select every one of these tracks basically you are going to want to unroute it from the master because all these are still routed to the master so then you're going to want to route this to the aux track and so what that does is you guys can put auto tune or whatever effects you guys want on here and it goes out um, and it's routed to your like main preset. So let's all these tracks are really have like one preset on it, but you can add um, like flanger, flanges, reverb. You guys can add whatever you want on here. You guys can add auto tune if you want. Um, so yeah, basically this is like a main preset that um, affects all these tracks essentially. Now that all these are routed out to the aux track, let's cut on our input. Yo, 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 yo. let, let go. go. All right, right so yeah, so there's, there's no, no auto tune, tune on it right now. now. Um, let me cut that back off. And now uh, let's just throw like waves tune on there and see how it sounds. Oh, yeah, let go. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, yeah. Let go. Yeah. I got money, I got kid. Hey. Alright, guys, so we put some auto tune on here. <laughs> yeah. So we got auto tune on here now. Um, see what I'm talking about, though? If you throw auto tune on all these tracks, um, if you throw auto tune on all these tracks, Really, you guys can, um, let's just say you guys want to stack down here, put like flanges on here. So you got a flanges down here and uh, you could put like, uh, let's say reverb. So you throw a uh, reverb on there. Also throw like a uh, delay on there. H, I'm gonna go with H delay. Um, and then yeah, so you got yourself an auto-tune track. Whoa, 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 whoa. let go. Let go. <laughs> I'm just messing around, bro. But look, slide this down here, and it should be it should be working. All 
Alright guys, so you understand I didn't mess with any of the flanges, HLA, or reverb settings, so that's why it sounded like horrible. Um, but that's just an example. You guys can stack your uh, effects on these ad lib tracks or these double tracks. You guys can add whatever effects you want to all these tracks, 1 through 13, whatever. Um, and basically, uh, it's still got that like crispy uh, main preset on it. So you really just add more effects, but it's up to you guys. You guys can also slide your own preset on any of these tracks. Um, it's just up to you. Uh, you guys can color code it how you want. And then so this aux track is ra routed out to here. So let's say you guys want to add like a, um, an extra compressor. You guys can add a CLA to it. Uh, you go to Vox setting. And so this is a compressor now on all these different tracks, even though this aux track is routed here. And so, um, yeah, just make sure your beat track is routed out to the master. Uh, make sure this main box is routed out to the master. And yeah, guys, that was just a quick tutorial on how to record in FL Studio, how to make your own recording or vocal template. I hope you guys found this easy. I hope I did a good job explaining it, breaking it down. Um, it was kind of a lengthy video. I hope you guys tuned in and found this helpful. Head over to vocalsearch.shop. If you guys don't feel like copying this, get yourself the template, um, get yourself a preset. Do me a favor, go check out my music. I'm really just, I'm trying to build myself up as an artist, so I appreciate any support, any help I can get. Even if you stream just one song, I appreciate you. All right, you guys have a good day. Peace out.